A couple of days ago, I released a video showing the new camera options in Gran Turismo Sport demo, but I realized that I completely skipped over the, the, cockpit, the cockpit view uh, customization options that you now have in the game. I don't remember these uh, being available in the beta, but somehow they are available uh, here in the demo. And I'm sure that there, there are a lot of people who are going to appreciate the, uh, these new settings. So what you need to do in order to access them and customize them to your liking is when you're in the cockpit view, of course you can change that in any other view, but you won't see uh, the effects of the different settings. So I recommend that you do that uh, in cockpit view. And in case you're unaware, you can change the cameras uh, pressing the R1 button so you can cycle through the cameras. So we're in cockpit view now. We're gonna pause the game, go into the options menu, scroll all the way down to advanced settings. And under the view submenu, we have two uh, options. Adjust chase view camera, which is the option that we explored uh, in the other video. And the new one, which is adjust cockpit view. And what it basically lets you do is adjust the height and how far from the steering wheel uh, you are seated. So uh, height basically it's self-explanatory. You you decrease the number, you're gonna get lower down in the car. You increase it, you're gonna get uh, a little bit higher in your seating position. I like to leave it at I don't know maybe zero, and then you have the front and back, which basically allows you to pull uh, the wheel in or pull it out. This is the, the, the standard. I think I like uh, seeing a little bit more of the steering wheel um, like so. So let's uh, drive a little bit. There is one thing that's that's missing in the beta, in, sorry, in the demo that was present in the beta that I, I really wish that they, they at least some, uh, sometime down the line that they bring it back. Uh, many people uh, who play the beta, I'm sure that you can probably tell that when you played in cockpit view, uh, whenever you, you took a, 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 a turn, the driver's head would kind of follow in the direction of the turn. So basically, if you were taking a, a right turn, uh, your driver uh, would look a little bit to the right as you took the corner. And once you get your car straightened out, um, he would basically uh, straighten his head out as well, but with a little bit uh, of delay. So his head would get straightened out in relation to the car a little bit later than the, the car itself. And that, I don't know, that added to the immersion. And I kind of like the effect. It, it felt like that the cockpit field with this uh, nice little feature was, I don't know, made it a little bit buttery smooth. I don't know if you understand what I'm, what I'm talking about, but I'm sure that people who play the beta uh, get what, 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 I, what I mean by that. And I'm, I hope that Polyphony Digital uh, down the line bring it back because it was such a nice uh, little thing that they added in that added to the immersion that I, I can't see myself playing in cockpit view without it. It's too static as it is right now. So it's a pity. But to me, the cockpit view in Gran Turismo, I don't know if it's the lighting, I don't know if it's the amount of detail, the details and attention that they put in the cockpit view, but to me, Gran Turismo Sport features one of the most uh, immersive uh, cockpit views in any game I've ever played. I think the only game that's kind of on par or a little bit better uh, is Drive Club. But then again, Drive Club, in my opinion, is better at what most games are currently doing. The game was released three years ago, so I, I think I'm gonna do a video on that because I have so much to talk about Drive Club, so much of what they got right in the game that I don't think uh, I'm doing I'm doing it any justice by just 
uh, making uh, random comments um, in videos like this. But anyways, guys, that's been it. I just wanna, I just wanted to do a quick follow-up video, just to show you some of the stuff that I, that I obviously skipped over. And I hope uh, you found this useful. I have a new controller. Finally, I got I got myself a new DualShock Four. Uh, for those of you who didn't watch my other videos, um, the R the R two button on my other DualShock uh, was only registering half of the press, so I couldn't play races properly. And playing with the X and Square button is not an option, especially when you have uh, pressure sensitive acceleration and braking. So now I can finally show you some of the other stuff that I wanted to show you in the demo. So that's what I'm gonna do uh, over the next few videos. So stick with me. Hope you liked the video. Hit the like button for more videos like this. I'm gonna be releasing a lot, of, a lot more content uh, uh, for GT Sport and also Forza Motorsport 7. So keep an eye out for those. Uh, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and on your social media. It helps me out a lot, so I really appreciate it. And I hope to see you guys on the next one. Bye.